and I'd be like, oh, I wasn't that hungry. My stomach cries. Can you have the waiter box it to go? Okay. Hello. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Um, today, today I want to do like a rant with me, I guess. I am just highly annoyed, okay? I'm just sick of it. Like, I just feel like... <sighs> Hold on. Because my phone isn't turning on. Like at all. I just wanted to do a video like just sitting down with you guys i'm i'm gonna do a mukbang hold that thought that's what we ain't gonna do like my phone is acting so shitty why the fuck is my phone doing this so here's my food and we're about to eat how this nigga gonna give me dead airpods So, I want to talk to you guys today because I've just been, like, in a funk. I'm getting, like, so annoyed with people lately. Like, I get irritated really quick. Um, I don't know why, but, like, I keep surrounding myself around people who are, like, no good for me and I keep letting them stay in my life. Like, I'll never understand why I keep doing it. Like, I don't know if I'm lonely. I don't know if I'm bored. I don't know. But it's like, I'm literally sitting here allowing negativity into my life and then wondering why I'm the one getting fucked over in the long run. Like, like one thing I cannot stand is a hypocritical aspect. Like, I bet you was gonna not practice what she preaks. Like, and it depends because sometimes, like, you can't, you can't help which, like, you know, you can't help a situation you get pulled into. Like, all right, say, for example, like, you're going through something with your boyfriend and you keep giving him chances because you genuinely love him, but you be telling your girls, like, if they get in an argument with their boy, their boyfriends, like, oh, fuck that nigga. Stay away from that nigga. He's no good. You could do better. It's like, you don't practice what you preach. Like, don't sit here and give out bad advice when you can't even follow your own. You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes no sense. And then... Oh my god, hold on. I should tell my brother to shut up because I'm not doing this again. Back to what I was saying. I hope you guys can see my food. It's just like, why even do that? Like, if you don't practice what you preach, don't sit here and give advice to nobody. You don't have no room. Shut up, shut up, bro, shut up, bro. Shut up, my nigga, shut up. You have no room at all. You might as well just stay in a child's place because you're a fucking child because no grown-ass adult is going to be sitting here giving out advice and can't even follow their own. Like, it makes no sense. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys what I got. So, I honestly don't even know what I got. But I know that it's chicken. This is chicken. These were mashed potatoes. And they're like the nice, cheesy, garlicky mashed potatoes. So they're so good. And then, this is like sautéed shrimp and peppers, pretty much. And then there's more like cheesy mashed potatoes underneath it. And it's so good. Oh, I look pregnant, but I'm not just fat i'm just getting so irritated with like the people i keep surrounding myself with which is why i have no friends because i can't deal with the shit like i'm not about to be sitting there fake being fake if i don't like you i don't like you 
And if I can't, like, fully tell you I don't like you because I don't want to hurt your feelings because I want to save you, at least that, I'll find any way to just avoid you. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with the fake shit. I'm not with no stupid shit either. Like, there's no way. I'm going to be saying him. Letting people bring me down. And you know what else I realized? Every time I tell, like, somebody, like, not somebody, but, like, anytime I say good news to a lot of people that I consider friends, it's, like, 90% of them don't even, like, give me that, like, oh, I'm really happy for you, like, you know, like, actually congratulate me. It's me, like, oh, well, that's good, girl, like, it's never, like, oh, my God, I'm so proud of you, girl, like, and obviously, I don't need you to pat me on my back. But at least, like, you know, show me that you give a fuck. I'm just getting tired of a lot of shit. I'm getting tired of dealing with, um, fake people around me who don't really genuinely wish good for me. Like, it'd be one thing if you low-key, like, trying to compete with me and you don't make it known. But the majority of the time, this bitch should be doing a high key. Like, I'm not competing with you. I'm not competing with you, Ma. Like, and by the time you realize that I never gave a fuck, it'll be years later, and you already still late in the game. Like, I don't know. I just feel over it. Let's check out this jump gun. I never did one of these before. But I want to know what you guys just like take on it. Like, have you ever put, been like around like a fake friend and you just like? I feel like a lot of the time too. All right, I'm a cancer. I hate starting over. Like I hate starting over. Oh my god, my nose is running. So I hate starting over. I hate making new friends. Like I get attached to people. And. The worst part about that is, like, when you're attached to somebody, you don't know how to let go. Like, you don't know how to just let the situation be done. You want to keep fighting to make shit work. And honestly, I do that not only in relationships, but with friendships, too. And when a friendship is dead, and you know it's dead, and you know, like, there's nothing come out of it but toxic shit. And, like, you know the person isn't genuinely, like, happy for you or, like, really cares about you genuinely... You have to let this go. Like, you have to. Because you're going to be the one taking the loss in the long run. And they're going to be fine. At the end of the day, I'm going to be looking at you like, bitch. Excuse me, you crusty-eyed, ashy, ugly, rat nest bitch. What the fuck do you think you're doing right now? Do you know who the fuck I am? Like, you was never happy from the jump. When I really see people, when, when you really show me your true colors, because... Everybody shows you their true colors. No matter what it is. No matter how long it takes you to see. Everybody shows their true colors. They always do. And. Whether you find that out early enough. To like. You know. Cut that freaking. um Lifeline before it's too quick. Too short. Before it's too late. That's for you to figure out. But I'm not letting nobody take advantage of my friendship, my kindness, because I care way too much about people. Like, way too much. To be sitting here when you think you could tell me what to do. And you could prejudge my life and dictate what you think is good for me. Because I, a lot of the time, people think they know what's good for you. How can you tell me what's good for me? How? 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 How are you going to tell me what's good for me? Please tell me. You can't.
And that's the bottom line. Like, nobody can sit here and tell you what's good for you. That's why I never listened growing up. <laughs> it's like, no. Nah. But seriously, I'm being a good ass. That's why I never listened growing up. Because how, how are you? Like, obviously your parents know what's good for you. Like, as far as, like, you know, the basics. But they don't know what's genuinely good for you. They don't know what genuinely makes you happy. Like, everybody's always, everybody's always looking from the outside in. Like, you know? Like, you are the only one who knows what you have been through and what is genuinely, like, what makes you happy, okay? And my thing is, I've never been the one to judge nobody's situation. Like, never. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you did, what your past life was. I don't care. I won't judge. But it's like, I never get that same in return. I'm always getting somebody judge me or look at me under a microscope as if I'm, like, the weirdo or the bad guy. Like, wow. Um, it's just a lot of confusing shit going on these days. And I just, I don't have the patience for it. I be asking God so many times, just grant me some patience. Grant me the virtue of patience. That's it. Because I don't got none of that. I still don't got it yet. So I'm going to just keep gladly waiting. This shit is so cheesy. Like, these mashed potatoes are so good. If you got TGI Half Fridays in your area, ask for the cheesy mashed potatoes. Thebomb.com. Like what? I'll be fat for like I wanna talk about another thing. So like do you think I wanna know in the comments, like comment if you ever have like thought this. Do you think going on dates for free food is a bad thing? Because I go out on so many dates. Like, I really do. I go out on so many dates. And literally never, like, fall with the person again. I just literally go for a free meal. Because why not? It's a fucking free meal. Like, the fuck? Obviously, I don't want to my own money to go get it, so I might as well have somebody else. I don't know. I don't see the harm in that. Unless, like... Okay, I'm not telling you to go link with every serial killer that writes you to go get a free meal, but... Honestly, like, I honestly think it's fun now. I think it's fun. Because I literally just... Get a kick out of it. Um, nine times out of ten, if I don't even want to stay for the date, but I want the free meal, I'll do this. I'll get it to go. I'll get it to go. I'll be like, oh, I wasn't that hungry. My stomach hurts. Can you have the waiter box it to go? Okay. And just like that. I'm just like, damn, I'm smacking really loud. But this is only because these wisdom teeth are coming in bad. I'm waiting to get them pulled out. Real soon. Oh my god. I'm full. But I'm eating those. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. 
Hello? Just hang up over. Why did you hang up? I just say I kept saying hello, hello. Oh, I couldn't hear your voice, Baka. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a mukbang. What should I talk about? Uh. Mm -hmm. Ew. Excuse me.